Hey, in this short tutorial, I'm quickly gonna go over how to fix the issue with Mixamo not having textures um, after downloading downloading the model. Uh, in my case, I generated this image or this character of a stone golem, and um, I've gone ahead and remeshed it. Um, I also refined it before for better quality. Um, I just started it. Let's hit refresh, and it should be done. We can simply hit download, then we upload the character here, and. Um, then we can rig it with uh, selecting the bones that should, shouldn't take long, usually a few seconds. And then we select the perspective, let's go front. Then we can select the chin, the wrists, elbows, knees and groin. That um, shouldn't take long, it usually takes up to a minute and uh, let's skip that and I'll see you when it's done. And after a few seconds, the model should have been rigged. You can go out, click next, next, and then you can select the animation which you like. In my case, let's go with the idle one. Or we can even select the T-pose. I think that's even better for the showcase. Let's go with that one. Or is there any other pose? Maybe this one. Oh, let's, let's go with an idle animation. That's actually better. Um, let's use this one. Adjust the... Uh, character arm space a bit then let's hit download make sure it is with skin and you don't need to uh, reduce keyframes let's hit download and after downloading we can open the model in blender you can simply hit file import fbx and then search for your file so i've uh, gone ahead and imported this file we just downloaded in blender it's gonna take a bit to load and after downloading you can see the model has textures make sure you're on the third tab here um, but sometimes it can happen that the model doesn't have textures. In that case, let's remove that and also remove the normal map here. Um, and as you can see, it's white. So let's go ahead and apply the new texture to that model. For that, we can simply um, use the model we had before, before uploading to Mixamo. Um, we can hit download and import that into Blender as well. Hit file, import, FX. That should take a few seconds max. Let's wait for it to finish. And after it has been imported, we can simply let's adjust it a bit. And we are in the shading tab right here. And now um, you select this model. You can see down here, this is the texture applied to it. Um, sometimes it can happen that it's white. You still can select it, select the texture. You should see the texture right here. And now what you can simply do is copy this texture and apply it here and that should do it. Now um, you can also adjust roughness settings, uh, metallic settings, whatever uh, you wish. This model was generated with the old image AI studio um, which means this model. You could also choose the uh, new AI model which also gives you PBR textures meaning you get a roughness map, normal map, metallic map. Um, which increases the texture quality even further. Um, in this case, this is enough for now. Um, and you can then, for example, use uh, Blender to animate this model further. You could, let's say, you could delete all keyframes. Let's go into pose mode, select all, and simply delete all of them. So now you don't have uh, an animation applied. As you can see, there's no animation. And what you can now do is basically animate the model to your liking let's go um, with that we can simply hit record right here and let's move it like that then we can go ahead and move it a bit down maybe a bit up and meanwhile we can move the body as well As you can see, we just made a super simple animation like this. It's just super basic, nothing crazy, but um, there's like a lot you can do. And I would always recommend, in this case, the texture quality isn't great, that you um, use the texture eye to redo the textures and increase the quality. Um, for this tutorial, uh, we are done. I have a few other tutorials on my channel for how to use the texture eye image workflow ETC. And I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you guys next time.